pretty well, guys. I feel like life has been really good to me this first few days. Come here, boy. Who is she? <laughs> I don't really honor the Sabbath. I don't really have a certain day of the week that I'm just like, no, we're not doing nothing. Am I your real mom? What kind of question is that? So guys, we made some pretty good slides. Lynn, today is Friday and we are back at the filming. I'm trying to, I'm going to try to give you guys a weekend in my life starting today. Um, I'm just working today. I'm not doing anything like planned, but tomorrow we have a very busy day. We're doing prayer 21 at the ministry hub at my, of my church, my church's ministry hub, where we come together to pray for like an hour. <clears throat> and then after that, Prince got to go get his hair cut. And then I want to do a little bit of shopping and do a grocery haul pickup. And then Sunday, I volunteer at church. So I'll be at church most of the afternoon, um, like the midday. And then, you know, of course, I still have to wash clothes, clean, eat, you know, all the normal stuff that humans have to do. <laughs> I was sitting here this morning and I was reading um, in this. Let me show you guys. So I was reading this Fine Rest, A Woman's Devotional for Lasting Peace in a Busy Life by, I think it's Shanti Fieldham. I think she's an Indian woman. Um, anyway, this particular chapter or this particular devotional was talking about resting, like honoring the Sabbath. Okay? One day a week. So... I realize I don't really honor the Sabbath. I don't really have a certain day of the week that I'm just like, no, we're not doing nothing um, but resting. And I felt really convicted about that. And then they have this page where you can kind of like write a response to what you read for the devotional. And then this right here is like a, they always have like a little quote or something. And um, I actually took this quote and put it on my Instagram this morning because it says, Take rest, a field that has rested. <clears throat> excuse me. A field that has rested gives a beautiful crop. Okay. So basically, that means when you rest, you can do more and your work is more um, quality, you know, and I used to beat myself up when I would take like a weekend, like this this past weekend. I'm sorry, this, there's no light, good lighting here, but this past weekend, I did nothing, right? I stayed in bed. I didn't go to church. I did church online. I ordered food. <laughs> I do this at least <laughs> every other week, you know, at least twice a month I'm doing this. Um, and I used to feel really guilty about it until I read that. It's like you're supposed to. You're supposed to rest. You're supposed to have a day where you're doing nothing. You're supposed to have a day where you're, you're not worried about how things are going to get done. And it's all going to work out. But was I intentional about those days? No, I've never been intentional about... Hey, I'm going to set aside a day for the Sabbath every week. It just kind of comes up when I'm like, mm, my body needs some rest. I'm not doing nothing today. And I just kind of do it. But I'm not intentional about setting aside a time. So that's something I might want to work on this year. It's just like kind of honoring the Sabbath. And it doesn't have to be a Saturday or a Sunday. It could be a Monday or a Tuesday, honey. Take me a personal day off work. And honor the Sabbath. <laughs> but anyway, that's how we're opening up this vlog. I hope you guys really enjoyed this vlog because we plan to be busy, okay? And I do get, uh, I will be getting a little more made up this weekend because I'll be actually going places and doing things. But, <sighs>
So our weekend has officially started, guys, because, and I just threw this wig on, because, gonna crash? I'm not going to crash it, I know what I'm doing, because Prince is out of school, he had early dismissal today. <laughs> I promise him I'll buy him. I'll put it on the screen what we get. I promise him I'll buy him this thing this weekend. So he's excited about that. And we have Monday off. I almost forgot. We have MLK Day off. So it's going to be an extended weekend, guys. We're excited. And also, that was loud. God turned that heat off. That was so loud. Maybe I should get that checked out. Mama, Mama. Oh, I wanna have a play date at the library with Andreas and he said yes. I'm I'm waiting for his mom to respond to me. She hasn't responded to me yet. We're oh. trying to we're trying to plan a play date for his friend. <laughs> Andreas. Um his mom probably at work, so she hasn't responded to me yet. But when she does, we'll plan it out. Prince, what are you doing? I have to also get like an oil change for my car. I want to, I want to take my car to to the car wash too, because I haven't washed it since I got it back in the summer. Okay. So this is gonna be a busy week. I don't even know if I'm ready for this. Mom, are you my real mom? Am I your real mom? What kind of question is that? <laughs> Am I your real mom? What do you think? Prince, shut the door. What? Shut the door. You don't think I'm your real mom? No. Why you say that? Because all our real moms are at. Our whole real mom is actually married. Oh, married. Because I'm not married. That can't be your real mom. You do, you do know there's a thing as called yeah, single mom. Mary. Oh, Mary? Like Mary and Joseph? So you think Mary and Joseph is your real parents? Yeah, they are. Uh, Mary has a lot of children. Basically, Mary has 50,000, children. Yeah. Did you learn that in school today? Nope. I learned it from my brain. Okay. <laughs> It's a new day. It is Saturday. The nice. The weather is nice. Look at those blue skies. This is on the back of my balcony, guys. I see nothing but trees back here, which is so lovely. Um, I actually glued down my wig today. Who is she? <laughs> I actually bought some glue, guys. Bought some glue, some some wig glue. And I glued down my wig today. I was a little bit skeptical about wearing this wig because this is my favorite wig, guys. My absolute favorite wig. However, Prince was trying to give me some layers and he cut. He cut this piece right here. And I just, it took me a long time to gain some confidence to wear this wig. So I'm just kind of smoothing it down, trying to act like it's not there. And once I smooth it down, it don't look so bad. But... For the longest time, I was like, I can't wear this wig no more. It's my favorite wig. So I'm just kind of waiting for this to dry. And then we're going to head out. We're going to pick up our groceries. We got to go to the Dollar Tree. We got to go get Prince haircut. And I wanted to stop by the beauty supply store because, Prince, please take that back in. Please take that back in. Okay. Thank you. I want to I wanna get me some lashes, girl. Some lashes. I have not had lashes in so long. I don't know. I, I don't know why I keep losing lashes, but that's my MO. So I'm going to get me some lashes, get my lashes back. So that's what I am about to get done today. And then tomorrow I want to spend most of my day at church. And then, um, what was I going to say? Monday, I'm off on Monday. We have nothing to do on Monday. It's probably going to be one of those days where 
Prince get to do whatever he want to do. He's mentioned wanting to make some slime. He's mentioned wanting to go to the park. So, that's what we're probably going to do on Monday. But for the weekend, I'm trying to get all my errands ran today. Focus on church tomorrow. Focus on the kid on Monday. So, that's the plan. Anyway, let's get out of here, guys, because I should have been left. I should have been left. I was supposed to go to uh, morning prayer today at 9 o'clock. Guess where I was at 9 o'clock? Sleep. I didn't get out of bed till about 11.30, 12, child. 11.30 or 12. But I did end up watching it on on YouTube because they streamed it live and then they um, broadcasted it after the stream. So I ended up watching it on YouTube. So I got my prayer in. It's just that I was supposed to be in the building. I wasn't supposed to be in my bed. <laughs> but let's go. I'm going to put, I'm going to um, try to do my eyebrows and put some lip gloss on and then I'm out of Some red, bright red, matte nails. That's what I really want. I don't see it. I don't see it. But it's nail polish. I do see some cute ones here though. No. I've had these before. But look at these. I like these. And here are some red ones, but it's got like the leopard with it. I don't really want the leopard. I just want plain. This one is fine. But guess what? It's not matte. This is nail polish too, right? Yeah, that's nail polish. There's so much nail polish. Which one do you want to get? There's lots of different colors. I don't know what I'm gonna get, guys. Look at these yellow ones. Hi, guys. I'm back home. I'm just snacking out some chips. And I made myself like a little yogurt bowl. It's got chia seeds, granola, honey oat granola, blueberries, and some Greek yogurt. I didn't get to do everything, guys. By the time I got to the oil change place, the Precision Auto Tune, they were closed. Or they were closing up. They were shutting down their little garage doors. Guess what, guys? I have a new slime flavor. Prince got his hair cut. Are you looking good? I have a new ply flavor, guys. We did get our grocery pickup order. Mm -hmm. We got a grocery pickup order. I already put the groceries away. And then from the beauty supply store, I end up getting these three. Now I got four things. It's not necessarily what I went there to, to get, because I went there to get nails, but nails, well, I did, I did, I did want to get some lashes, I said that early, so I got lashes, they were on sale for 99 cents each, I got like little thinner ones, this is probably the most natural looking ones, then I got these thicker ones, and then... This one looks odd. They got spaces in between them, so I'm l really just interested to see how this would look on me. I don't know why it's spaced out like that. See, ah! Gotta put it to the camera. 
And then I got these. These are toenail, like, press-on toenails. Now, I know that they've been out there for a while, but I've never seen these. And these are red. I went to get, like, the fingernails, like, red, like this, but with the fingernails, like, long. But, like, this color. But I couldn't find this color. So, I ended up just getting these for my toes. I've never done my toes with false, less, uh, false nails before. So, we're going to try these out. But that's literally all I got from the beauty supply store. Y'all, I'm tired. Okay? I'm about to take a nap. I'm about to take a whole nap. And I'll probably see you guys later today. If not, I'll see you in the morning. My nail did break off. Yo, but this right here though. These nails right here that I put on. I've had them for two weeks. And nothing has fallen off. Nothing, I did not have to replace any of my nails. This one just fell off today. At the two week mark. Okay. These are really good quality nails. Kiss is really good quality nails. So, I highly recommend them. Mm. All right. I'm about to go take a nap, guys. I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Come here, boy! Yeah. <laughs> up community it's sunday i'm getting ready for church <clears throat> we already been to the park this morning because prince really wanted to go to the park yesterday but i was tired so i told him we'll go in the morning before church because y'all know i don't go to church till 1 p.m so <clears throat> i told him we'll go before church and we did just that it was a little cool I, it probably was about 40 degrees we didn't stay out there long maybe about a good 10 minutes and then Mikey got a chance to run around without his leash on he was so happy about that honey let me tell you so um yeah we got all that done I haven't eaten anything yet I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna wear these glasses I really want to wear these I think I will, but I'm about to put my lashes on. Let me go get my tweezers. All right, so I got these lash tweezers from Bella Galore. Bella, let me do it this way. Bella Galore. Um, Y'all know I buy lashes from her all the time. I bought these yesterday from the supply, beauty supply store because I didn't have time to wait on shipping because I really wanted to wear them today. But normally, my real fancy lashes come from her. Okay, and I used to get body buddy body butter from her too. But uh, today I'm doing things like a wee bit different. A wee bit different. But yeah, I'm looking forward to today because <clears throat> I feel like I, I didn't go to church last weekend and um I'm actually volunteering this weekend, so I'm with my comms team members that we're going to be turned up. Listen, I love my church. I love the people I get to work with when I volunteer. Um, and I think I've told you guys this before. If I haven't, I'll let you know that I volunteer at my church, but I'm not doing anything but, like, computer work. So, 
you know how people be telling you to fill out a form or whatever when you go to church? If you ever wonder where those forms go, it comes to people like myself and we enter it into the church's database. So we get those forms and we enter it into the database, make sure everything is correct. And, and we also send out like a notification to, to welcome you to the church. So that's what my job is with the church. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, so that's what I do at the church, and I really enjoy the team that I get to work with. They are so funny, and we all, like, love each other, and it's just a good little team. We're all very interesting people. Um, we get along very, very well, and these are people that I really would like to be, like, best friends with, but... Um, I'm taking it slow because friendships are a lot of work. Friendship, maintaining a friendship is a lot of work, okay? And people be going through their own things and sometimes you're not able to be a good friend. And the expectation, especially when a friendship is new, the expectation is to really like be available. And sometimes I can't. Um... Come on. I don't know why this thing is giving me such a hard time. I'm trying to I'm trying to take this lash off of the plastic. And it don't want to come. Um, but while I'm sitting here, I do want to update you guys on my mental health, my bipolar disorder. Um, I had a little bit of hypermania. And I say a little bit. Like, I remember I've told you guys about my depression like episode that i had and then hypermania comes right so it's i always um i've told you guys on one of my other videos that this this disorder is basically like a cycle it it goes in a circle so i have a depression episode i'll have a hypomania episode and then i'll have like some normalcy and then it kind of goes back around again so I had a hypomania disorder, not disorder, but um, I had a hypomania episode. That just includes me not sleeping, staying up to like 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. Not feeling hungry, like I wasn't hungry, I wasn't tired. And kind of like there was some like very like in both of those extremes i experienced a lot of like uh irritability and anger for no reason no reason at all okay no reason at all and that's kind of like the scary part because when you are trying to explain to somebody how you're feeling and they're just like not understanding because it's like, well, why do you feel that way? There doesn't have to be a reason. This is part of my disorder. This is why it's a disorder because there's no reason for me to feel this way. No reason for me to be going through this. No reason for me to be up in the middle of the night for no reason. I, I hate talking to people about it who are who don't deal with it or are not a professional in like uh, mental health disorders. Because you get that whole, I don't get it, reaction. And nobody wants nobody wants to feel like nobody, like misunderstood and, and everything. So I just don't like talking about it with like regular people. And I, um, I used to talk about it with my best friend. But it was so draining to talk about it. I was like, just be my friend, you know. I have therapists, I have a psychiatrist, I have people that I can talk to about, you know, my disorder. I just want you to be my friend because it is it was just getting overwhelming trying to explain something that can't be explained. You feel me? You guys have been very supportive. Anytime I do talk about my illness, 
I get really, really good comments down below. And you guys are very helpful and very understanding. And you guys are praying for me and things like that. And I feel like it's so much easier to talk to you guys about it than it is to talk to my family and friends. First of all, it's I guess it's because you're not, like, here in my face. And you're not, like, calling me. And I don't have to, like, literally deal with you in my actual everyday life. And then, two, it's like you guys type messages. You know, it's just like, these are really good things that I love to see someone say I'm praying for you or like hey I was diagnosed with this too or you know hang in there you're doing a great job like I don't get that kind of response from family and friends well from my best friend she always tell me I'm doing a great job and I deserve this and I'm doing you know well she always like compliment me in that way um, but my family girl no girl no they don't. They don't know how to uh, respond. So I just don't talk about it. But other than that, I've been doing really, really well, guys. I feel like life has been really good to me this first few days of the year. Couple weeks, I guess we could say, because it's almost, it's the, it's the 13th or 14th. Today is the 14th, so we've been two months, two weeks into the year already. So we got our lashes on. We're looking pretty good. I'm not um, doing much to my face today. I'm just lashes, brows, and this tinted moisturizer or what they call just a tint by the lip bar. And I'm going to put a little bit of translucent powder on. And that's going to be it. really I've been doing really well these first two weeks of the year I've been praying a lot more not probably not as much as I should be but I don't beat myself up when I miss a day or I don't journal one day or something like that because I know I'm building a habit and building habits kind of take time our church is participating in like a fasting and prayer in 21 days of fasting and praying which a lot of churches do that at the beginning of the year with their um with their members so our church is no different we're doing the same thing and i was fasting from chicken girl chicken is like my favorite thing to eat so i decided to fast from chicken and that's been going okay like i think i need to bump this down that's been going okay because i really like, I've been wanting to order chicken like I did my grocery shopping yesterday. And there's no chicken on... It was no chicken on that doggone <laughs> grocery list. And I'm like, this is weird. I don't like it. I got turkey. I got hamburger meat. I got steak. I got shrimp. I got fish. Which is all, you know, very good substitutes for it. I'm going to go get my flat iron. Hold on. <laughs> This is gorgeous. I like this asymmetric thing going on. And my face look really like natural. I need to clean these glasses, but <laughs> somebody needs to take me out. <laughs> saying that but you know we gonna wait on the lord we gonna wait on the lord because we don't need to be wasting our time with these negroes out here okay so we gonna wait on the lord 
I want to show you guys what I'm wearing. This is kind of like a baby doll dress. And it's kind of like off the shoulder. So, it comes down a little bit past my knees. And then I'm just going to have a belt right here. So, that's what I'm wearing to church today. Does it match? This, this is the dilemma that I had. Does this go with this? Or should I just wear gold? Should I just wear these? Like a like, like just gold? Because I feel like the two patterns um, don't match. You know, I hate wearing... I hate wearing um, sticky lip gloss because my hair keeps sticking to it. Should I just wear this? Or, because y'all know I got a heck of glasses I can choose from. I can wear these. Let's see. I think this might go better. What y'all think? Should I wear the gold or the black? What about other glasses there? Because y'all know I got a heck of glasses. I, I got this one. These two. These two are definitely no. Because they, they just don't go. Okay. I got one more. I think I'm going to do this. Okay. So. I think this. Oh, yeah. Perfect absolutely perfect yeah I'll try to swoop this little part that my um that Prince cut I'll try to give it a little swoop action so try to hide it a little bit but yeah I think <laughs> I think that's it baby and I have one this nail that came off yesterday I am going to go ahead and replace it and then next week I'm going to um, switch them out with something else I'm trying to find my um, some red nails because that's what I really want to go with next I can't I can't well I'm not gonna say I can't I only been to one place and I know I can get it online but I kind of want to do the Kiss brand. So I think I'm after church today. I'm going to like the dollar store or something like that. And we'll work that out. But anyway, guys, I'm getting ready to get out of here. Getting ready to get out of here. So I will holler at y'all in a minute. Hey guys, I'm at church. Guys, I can run 100,000, 60,000 groups speak. Yeah, but you're not doing that inside of this cafeteria. I'm so, gonna do it. So we got here, we're going to the one o'clock service, but I'm serving also after church, after my service, I'm serving. So they gave us a little bit of snacks. And I got this strawberry banana. Juice smoothie. Prince wants to go into church with me instead of going to kids' church because he likes hearing Pastor uh, preach. He loves hearing him preach, like, and I think that that's really awesome that a kid could sit through church and actually pay attention to what the pastor is saying. So I like, I like taking him with me instead of getting him into children's church. He don't like going to church, so you know, that's how we be. But anyway. I'm going to eat my little <laughs> fruit and vegetables. Watch this, guys. Watch this. Take, take your coat off. I don't want to take anything
Okay, guys, it was really loud in there, and I was trying to tell you guys about this new sermon that we have coming up called Can We Talk for a Minute? It's going to be like a relationship sermon. You can click the QR code, or you can pause this video and and screenshot it so that you can watch that sermon series if you're not in the city. If you are in the city, you can plan your visit. Also, guys, I wanted to show you guys how we do our baptism. We do rent a, a high school to have church. So this is how we do it. We do a portable tub. They fill it up with water. They use a water purifier. And we baptize um, our members in this tub. So I wanted to show you guys this clip because today was also baptism day. Prince hurt his elbow, so he's not feeling too good. I was gonna go to the Dollar Tree and you know pick up some stuff. Um, we just I'm just getting in the car from church. We're about to leave church right now, but I think we're gonna go home so I can get him some pain meds and, and let him just kind of take a nap, right? You already feel better? Yeah, I know you're not crying anymore, but does it still hurt? Yeah. But it doesn't hurt for Oh, you good, huh? You want to go to the store? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Okay, I guess we can read. Huh? It fixes itself now. It fixes itself? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're going to go to Dollar Tree. You want to go to Dollar Tree? That's where we're going to go. I guess not. Anyway, church was amazing. I really love, love, love um, my church family. And yes, so I guess I don't need my hat anymore. My yeah, you don't need that anymore. But um. Remote shift. But how about we switch to governor again? What do you mean? Okay, so we get we get ready to go to the Dollar Tree, okay? Because we didn't go yesterday. Your elbow. Yeah, but my elbow kind of feels weak. It kind of feels okay. You just gotta be really careful, okay? Yeah, it just feels like don't try to pick up a lot of stuff. Don't try to strain it. You know what I mean? Yeah, but it actually doesn't feel weak. It just feels cold. Actually, hurts with the coldness. Okay. Oh. Just a little. Just a little. So I can still play top got from the Dollar Tree. I got all this stuff here. So I got this kit. Not for the toothbrush or even the tongue. Prince, turn it down. Turn it down some. So guys, I got this not for the toothbrush or even the tongue scrubber, but I am going to use this scrubber. I got this for this tool right here so I can get some of the tartar out of my teeth. I've gotten some little bit of tartar and I know I could go to the dentist and have them clean my teeth or whatever, but I want to get used to kind of doing it at home and not having to wait until a cleaning to do that. So really, I shouldn't have any tartar at all, to be honest, but little TMI, 
I got some tar that I need to get rid of. I got these three noodles. Y'all know I like spicy noodles. And this is a sriracha shrimp ramen. And it said it's medium heat. So I'm looking forward to that. Never had this brand before, but you know, noodles are noodles. I got these this uh, lavender bleach comment. And I got this AJ bleach. Ajax bleach. Ajax with bleach. <laughs> Listen, they're about the same to me. My mom used to always use Ajax. And I normally use Comet, but I kind of want to compare the two because I think they're pretty much even. So it didn't really matter. It's the same size, the same price. Only difference is this has a lavender scent, which I really appreciate. And I don't think this has any scent, which is fine because the bleach scent is enough for me too. I also got these um, flossers, dental flossers. It's supposed to be the minty flavor. I've never seen this brand before, but it looks like something that belongs in Target, to be honest. So, I was really excited to see this. Um, I was running out of my flossers, so... And I'm trying to get back to flossing, like, really, really often. I don't really floss that much, so that is a problem. But we're taking care of our hygiene this year, so... Don't do that. I got some... I got some, um... What is this called, child? I got some paper towel. These were like a double for three dollars, so not bad. And I got some Lysol. I went there basically to get cleaning stuff. I got some Lysol. I got these two toothpastes because they said comparable to Sensodyne, and it was only a dollar. And Sensodyne is is kind of expensive for toothpaste. It's like seven eight bucks so i bought two of these and i'm going to try it out to see how it compares to sensodyne um i got this cute pack of nails isn't it gorgeous i like the the simple gold design on them so pink and gold this might be the next set that i switch out like after i take these off i might switch to these i got some borax guys this is supposed to be a laundry booster but Prince wants to make... Oh, I should have got glue. I forgot to get glue. We'll get it tomorrow. Prince wants to make some um, slime. And I've been looking at stuff online. And you use borax and water and makes the activator that you pour into the glue to make it slime. So, I bought a small thing of borax. And I got this Arm & Hammer um, Fresh & Natural Household Eliminator. Baking soda. My mom used to use this a lot. So I wanted to use it too. And is this. I don't think this is powder. I think this is like a. Oh you just open the box. And sit it where you want it to be. That's not what I thought this was. But that's interesting. That's very interesting. So you can put it in the fridge. You can put it in your duffel bag put it in the shoe area and you just open it up what and change it out every three days every 30 days oh you open both of them the front and the back okay i didn't realize that's what i was getting i thought i was getting the powder time but okay, anyway, so I got this also, the um, Carpet Room Pet Deodorizer with baking soda. So I am, I ran out of Carpet Deodorizer, so I got that. I got this Vanilla Pompeia Air Fresheners. These are very, I love the vanilla scent. And I also got this Spick and Span. When the last time y'all seen some Spick and Span? Huh? This old school right here. So, Spick and Span All-Purpose Cleaner with the lemon scent. I love lemon scent, okay? And then the last thing I got was this Cascade dishwasher and um, tablets. So, they come in real handy. It's about the same as this one, and I pay more. So, bam. So, I have had quite a day looking at my hair, looking all frizzy. I had a really good day though. I can't complain. Today was so good. I got to see some of my church members that I haven't seen in a long time. I got to laugh. I got to praise God. 
I got to spend time with my baby because he didn't go to children's church today. So he was chilling out with me all day. I did a little bit. Of shopping. Like, it was a good day. It was a good day. It was a good day. And the weather was nice too. It was like 58 degrees. I can't ask for nothing better. So what I'm getting ready to do now is record some reels. Because I feel like let's not waste this makeup and this wig, okay? I feel like I look better today than I have in a long time. So we're going to make some content. We're going to make some content. And then I'm going to take a nap. And then what time is it? Because I might need to cook. It's, almost, it's 630. So I'm going to make some reels. And then I might just go ahead and cook. Because I'm not really sleeping. That's the real deal. Say hi, Prince. Hi. We are off today. It's like 1.30 in the afternoon. We are going to get my oil changed because we couldn't do it the other day. We're going to get some stuff to make slime with. And Prince has some money he wants to spend. So he's going to, we're going to go to Walmart to do that. We got to get Mikey some dog food. We'll probably do that hey, at Walmart I'm too. Show you what I'm he I'm made his, he made his shopping list. This is my shopping list. It says Prince. Turn it the other way. You had it right. Turn it the other way. There you go. It says Prince. Toys. Toys. That's his shopping list. Get toys. <laughs> this is what I'm always going to do when we're going to get, when we're going to shop. That's a great idea. So, anyway, um, and then we may stop by to see my sister who is off today too and we may just go by and chat with her. Prince um, got her a gift. He brought her one of his plushies that he don't play with anymore. It's supposed to be glasses on his eyes, guys. So, he was like, maybe this would cheer her up since she's all alone. So, we're going to stop by her house for a little bit and then we're going to come home. Right, Prince? Yeah. So let's get started with our day, guys. I hope you guys are having a wonderful MLK day. Because by the time you see this, it definitely won't be MLK day. <laughs> so I hope you guys had a wonderful MLK day. But everybody I know is working today. Except and for my sister. What, my birthday's also coming in so I told him it's about 90 days for his birthday. And, and it really boy, isn't. It's about 180 days, but he, okay, he's stuck on his birthday, guys. But anyway, let's go to get our oil change first, and then we'll go to Walmart. Okay, so guys, I'm just sitting waiting on my car to be done. They have it in the in the bay, I think is what they call it. But we've been here for about 40 minutes, almost an hour. So it's been a while. It's been a long time. I got I think we oh my god, is it been more we got here around two o'clock. It's three. So we've been here an hour. But he told me it was gonna be about an hour before they can get to me. So, he did not. <sighs> They're watching some movie. I don't even know what movie this is. Me too. I have no clue what this is. Get over here, Prince. Prince, get over here. So, guys, he was trying to recommend some additional stuff other than an oil change, which is normal. <laughs> but he was supposed to also do a rot uh, rotate my tires, but he said he could not because the lug nuts on this particular tire has been swollen or warped or something like that. And I would have to buy some new lug nuts in order for them to do that, which I opted not to do today.
All right, now we gotta go find the dog food. Excuse me. I know, but I'm getting what I need first. Icing, dog food, and glue. Okay guys, we made it to Walmart. And we're here for just a few things. Um, icing, well not icing. Um, food coloring, oh here's the dog food. Food coloring, dog food, and some Elmer's glue so Prince can make his, Prince can make his, um, what's it called, child? Slime or whatever there. So I'm gonna look for this dog food. These are so big. Look at this. Arena dog child. Now this is not what he normally get, but this is cheaper. How much is this one? Hi guys. Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys. Welcome back. We're back home. We've been back home for about an hour, so we're getting ready to make this uh, slime. I went to YouTube school to learn how to make this. And basically, you take borax and water and make a solution that's supposed to be the activator for the Elmer's white glue to turn it into slime. And then you, I'll be using a, a food coloring to make it different colors. Um, <clears throat> so that's what we're about to do. I have to watch that video again so I can see what the measurements is. Like how much borax I'm supposed to put in here and how much water. And then we'll go from there. So let's see what we get into. Alright, what you're going to do is you're going to take this spoon. Okay. And get some of this. And pour it inside the water and stir. Okay. Oh, you know what? It's got a little thing right here. Come on inside. You got it? Yeah. Stir it. Okay. Not fast. Take your time. Okay guys, we made lots of slime. This is what Prince is calling the hot sauce slime, right? Mm -hmm. Because it looks like deep bread. I mean, it looks like barbecue sauce to me, but hot sauce slime. And then this is the one I made. This is the one Prince made. 
and then he put them together and it made like this brown color on the back. <coughs> so. And we were so funny. We can make. We're not doing that though. We done with making slime for tonight. We'll say that for another day, honey. Listen, we're done making slime. And we appreciate you guys watching us making slime. But yeah, we're done. I appreciate I appreciate it. And we, and we were so glad we had this and this. We can make all kinds of colors now that we found the other ones. Lord, it turns out we had we had food coloring already. So I really didn't need to buy that food coloring that I got from Walmart. But it is what it is. So I am going to end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and liking and commenting. Y'all are the yeah. MVPs. And peace out, yo. Peace out, yo. All right. Love you guys. Bye.